What's up world, I'm Mr. Vaca and today I'm going to give you a quick guide on Google Forms. I've pulled up here a quick example of a daily online reading log Google Form that is very simple and easy to make. Here they have the directions to use this Google Form to record your daily reading. Submit once each day. Be sure to use capital letters, all that great stuff. Now they are going to have you enter your name in this box right here and you can tell that it's a required question. They have to answer something right here because of this little red star. If there's a red star, you have to answer it. If there isn't one, then you don't have to. It could be optional. Then they have to mark the date, what's the title of the book, how many pages, how many minutes did they finish the book, and then finally they have to write a few sentences about something interesting that they read. Now as you can see in its Google form, there are multiple choice. There's a date entering uh, section up here and it's already set month, day, year. There are different short answers and you can create your form to have all these different things. Then when you finish the form, there's a submit button right here and it won't turn blue until you answer all of the required questions. So now let's look at how you create one of these forms. As always, go to google.com, make sure you're logged in and click the waffle iron and you're gonna search for Google Forms. Again, if it's not up here, scroll down a little bit and you will find that purple icon and now we're into the Google Forms homepage. This is where you can have templates that are already made that you could use, anything that you've done recently. But I wanna start with just a blank form so you can see how to create the form to fit exactly what you're looking for. First, give it a name. So I'm gonna call this test reading form. Then it will automatically put your title of what you named it right here into the form. You can give it the description if you want. And it says here that it will automatically collect the email addresses of the participants. You can change that to be off if you want. And if you want to have it outside of your district, then you click this box. But right now we're just going to say collect the email responses. I'm going to make that hit save. That way I don't have to have the question of what is your name. And that way I'll know whose email is linked to the response. So now we have here the different questions. This is the first box that's already popped up for me, the untitled question. I can choose here if this is going to be a multiple choice question, a checkbox, like how many different things and you can check multiple boxes. If it's a short answer, like how we had, um, what's the title of your book? Or if you have a paragraph answer, you have to choose right here what type of question you have right here. So I'm just going to do a short answer. It'll be what is your favorite book? And then they will have a short answer text that they have to do here. If you want to require the question, you click this button right here, and now it's required. It'll have that red star, and if you have it off, then it's not required. Now let's say I wanna add an additional question. I now wanna click this plus icon right here. It adds another box, and say for this one, I want this to be a multiple choice question. And you can say, what is your favorite genre. And now I want to change different options. Horror, um, fantasy, autobiography. You keep going, do whatever you want. Now I'm done with that or if I wanted to give the option of other where they can then write in their specific category that I didn't include, just do add option or add other. Click add other and now I have the other option. Okay, I'm saved, I'm done. I wanna add another slide, but this time I want it to be the same format of the multiple choice. And then I would click this button right here, duplicate, and it just literally took the same exact question, made a copy, pasted it. I can now say, what's your least favorite genre? and then do the same thing there. Now let's say I made a mistake and I don't want this one here, I wanna move it up a spot. This little uh, button right here, this little icon, if you click, you can then drag it, drop, and rearrange your icons that way. If you want to right here, you can import questions. If you have another form that you've already done, you can also uh, easily add questions that you've already done that way. Now, this is a title and description. If you went back here, you see right here, this is a title. If I wanted to add another title like down here to try and segment it to like a different part of the form, I could add this title right here, again, right down there. Click that TT and then I can drag this around and now we're gonna say, this is math questions. And then I can ask a whole 
bunch of different form questions there. Uh, after that, you have image. So if you wanted to add an image to your form so that people would like look at a picture and then answer a question based on the picture, you could do that. You click the image, you can search from your uh, hard drive or if you have something on your Google Drive, you could go that way or a Google image search. So say something I wanna do of New York City. It will pick a ton of different safe images that you want. Click it, then click insert. And now that is right there. So right here, you're gonna give the picture a title and then you could add a question down here talking about whatever you wanted with the picture. Now let's say right here, you accidentally made a mistake and you don't want this question, what's your favorite genre on there and you wanna delete it. It's very easy, just click on that and you get into the edit mode and now there is this little trash icon and if you click that, you can delete it. Now there's a couple other icons over here that we haven't talked about. That's the YouTube icon play vid or add video and if you do that, you just search for the YouTube video that you want. I can just type in Mr. Vodka and then a whole bunch of videos will hopefully appear. There we go. I'm just going to click that one, select it, select, and then just like with the picture, you can give it a title and then you can do a whole bunch of things with that. Um, another one right down here, add section. If you do that, that's another way to like break up the form into different sections and uh, that way you could have your title like right here. I have the title for number two and the title for number one. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to show you is the responses. So once it's all done, you can then click right over here, responses. And right now I haven't sent the form out to anybody, but once I have, all the responses will be right there. And you can import it directly to the Sheets app with Google and it makes it very, very easy. Now, let's say I'm done with this form and I want to send it out to get into my school so that I can get the responses. All I need to do is click this big purple button send up here in the top right, you click it, and then you have the choice to send it by email so I could enter the email of say all the students or I could click this button and get a link. This is very easy. If I click that, I can then hit the copy button and I can paste that link in Facebook, on you, in your Google Classroom, on a text message, in the email, any way that you want. Again, it double checks in the top here that it automatically will connect the respondent's Mahanasan email because I have that box clicked. I am getting their information when they respond. If I unclick it, I will not get that personal information. And there's some dangers to doing that. You could have someone spam uh, different responses or the same response a hundred times and that could throw off your data completely. But if you have it linked to their email and they have to use that account, it won't let them take multiple attempts unless they have multiple email accounts. But you'll be able to see all these outside emails that are not part of your organization that won't allow that person to spam or you know troll your form in any way, shape, perform but if you have any other questions it's kind of it that I have here there's a whole bunch of other things that you can do like with this up here you can have different themes you can change the colors you could add pictures you can change the font there's a ton of other things that you can do to customize your form and it makes it really really easy so if you want to see any other content let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions let me know don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and hit subscribe also share it with your friends it helps out the channel a ton but most importantly don't forget to work hard play hard and I'll catch you next time time.